Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Rumen. Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. Last time we conquered Hilltop Center and now we are finally, finally home at our apartments. What you want to do is you want to go into your menu and unequip the silencer and equip some ammo. This is because we don't need a deal of slurpers anymore so the silencer and beef jerky are pretty much useless. Alright, let's go home. Hell yeah. Dad, I'm home. Listen, something really crazy is going on. I think we should... Dad? Dad? Did you do this? You're late. But why? Why? Revenge for 17 years ago, for one thing. If not for him, our dream would have come true. And then he took you away from us. I'll get you for this! another reason to fill your heart with hatred it must be this way one day you'll understand why no I'll never understand you must try to remember me and your true self as well you will birth a god and build an eternal paradise the one who killed your father. I merely gave the order. So, what will you do? I'll be waiting where all begins. In the town of Silent Hill. And that's depressing. He wasn't even 50 yet. So you want to equip the shotgun? And a good way to avoid this monster is to turn your flashlight off and hide in a corner. This thing will not actually notice you from this far away. See, as you can see, he's just running over there. He has no idea where I am. He might run towards me after a while, though, if I, you know, stand here for a long time. But, you know, he's not going to notice me. See, he notices me now because I'm close to him. All right. Shoot him. And then shoot him while he's down. Now I want to back up. Shoot him. Then want to shoot him while he's down. Now you want to back up. Alright, shoot him. Again, shoot him while he's down. That shot could have been a little better, but oh well. And he's going to attack me. There we go. Shoot him. And shoot him while he's down. Just like that. I got hit there, but not really a big deal. Um, if you examine that door over there, hold on a second, I'm going to lure him over here so he's not bothering me. 
Ah, he's gonna stay over there. So, if you examine this door right here, she actually calls Claudia a bitch. See that? See that? It's locked, that bitch. That's pretty interesting, in my opinion. Alright, you wanna shoot him? You wanna shoot him while he's down? You wanna shoot him? They wanna shoot him while he's down? The back up, you wanna shoot him? Pretty simple boss fight, really. You just wanna shoot him while he's down. He has a lot of health in hard mode, though. He's gonna attack me. Yeah, there we go. Go into your menu and heal when you're on low health. Uh, might as well use the first aid kit. Ah, I missed. There we go. out of here and leave me alone already calm down i just calm down how am i supposed to do that my father is dead he's murdered get out this is all your fault if it weren't for you I'm sorry If it'll make you feel better, I will. Is he okay like this? What else can I do? There's no one here to give him a decent burial. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dad. What do you do now? I'm going to Silent Hill. What's in Silent Hill? I don't know. Do you think it's safe? Of course it isn't. I don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. I don't care about God or paradise. If that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. When I find her, I'll kill her myself. Revenge doesn't solve anything. Maybe not, but that's what I'm going to do. How are you going to get there? None of your business. I'll give you a ride. I don't need your help. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. I'll bring the car around back. Come by when you finish saying goodbye. You know, you might die too. That's fine. Nobody's gonna cry over my grave. There's just so much to take in during that cutscene. There's a lot to examine in uh, Heather's little home here. So, you know, you can examine her father's dead body. I'll find that woman and make her pay, I promise I will. I wonder if my dad would be mad at me for thinking that way. You can examine this too, in this TV right here. Nothing too interesting though. You can examine the chair he was in. 
Dad, why'd you have to die? You told me you were the strongest man in the world, liar. There's no need to go back to the roof, that monster is dead now, besides Douglas is waiting outside. Examine the table here, there are books on the table, just like... Just as usually detective novels, my dad loved them. This is a very, very interesting picture right here in my opinion, because, like, why is this here? Heather had no mother figure growing up, and I can only assume that she drew this, so... Yeah. Pretty weird picture. I think you can examine this TV, nothing too interesting. You can examine these pictures too. Pick up this stun gun. Pretty cool weapon. Morning always comes. It's corny, but it's true. But if you but if your eyes are closed, it always feels like night. That's the that's the hero's line from this movie. I always liked the line, but now it just seems stupid. Could have read that a little better if I'm being honest. I kinda slurred my words there. I'm exhausted, I don't think I can sleep now besides Douglas should be waiting for me outside. As you can see, there's just so much to examine. Just a lot to examine. Yeah. Alright, let's leave now. Also, you can examine stuff in the kitchen too, but nothing too interesting. Feel free to save right here if you want to. I just met some guy named Vincent. Vincent? He's a friend of yours, right? Well, I'm not sure. He said when we get to Silent Hill to look for a guy named Leonard. And he gave me this map. What do you want to do? We can't trust him, but we've got no other choice. Here, take this too. What's this? Your father was holding it. What's the deal with Silent Hill, anyway? It used to be a nice, quiet little town. But now... You've been there? Once. On a missing persons case. Never did find him. But I'll tell you, that's one screwed up town. My line of work... You hear a lot of nasty rumors. I was born and raised there. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. No offense taken. Anyway, I thought you grew up in Portland. What's wrong? Feeling sick? My head's pounding like the worst hangover ever. Maybe your car's sick. No. I'm just trying to remember. My childhood. Something terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. A woman named Dahlia. She tried to summon the ancient god of the town. She offered up her very own daughter. That's crazy. Maybe so, but it worked. The girl gave birth to a god. 
You see, that girl had special powers. Powers? Her classmates called her a witch. She could make things happen with her mind. She could kill people just by wishing for it. But in the end, that god was killed by a single person. My father, Harry Mason. I guess it wasn't much of a god if it could be killed by a human being. Claudia's trying to do the same thing again. And I've been chosen as the sacrifice. You've got some kind of power in you too? No, I can't. After the god was killed, the girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. Before she died, she gave the baby to my father. He loved me just like I was his very own daughter. Even though he didn't know who or what I was. so sudden. I never had a chance to tell you, to tell you how happy you made me. I'm gonna head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. You got the map, right? Yeah. You gonna be okay alone? I'm not a child, you know. Are you sure it's not you who's afraid to be alone? <sighs> You're right. I am afraid. Fifty-something years old. I ain't never seen nothing like this. I still feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. I want to wake up and have a smoke already. Meet me back here when you finish looking around the hospital. Okay? Roger. Man, just so much to take in. I like how that fan up there is moving. It's pretty cool. Also, some of the best songs in the game are were playing in those cutscenes. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Save point right here. This has got to be a coincidence, but still, that's pretty weird. Who could have done this? So yeah, feel free to save right there. If you go into your items, you'll notice that you have a new thing in your inventory. This is Dad's notebook. Dad wrote about my past in here. As always, this should be novelized. In case hasn't been clear yet, uh, Harry Mason, the protagonist of Silent Hill 1, was a writer. He was an author. I hope this never comes to any use. Maybe it's better if you never know. More than anything else, I fear the possibility of your going away, far away from me. But sometimes we have to tell the truth. That's why I'm writing this, before I'm lost in death and oblivion. What happened back then has something to do with who you are. 
It all started 24 years ago. Coming back from vacation, my wife and I found a baby on the side of the highway. Since we were childless, we thanked God for letting us meet this child, this girl. We took her home. Three years later, my wife died, and another four years later, 17 years ago, I came to Silent Hill. I heard the girl's pleas and took her with me, not knowing why she wanted us to go there. And it was there that the girl went away. Not that she actually went anywhere, nor did she die. Returned to her original self, that's what Dahlia Gillespie said. Original self. That was the young woman burned by her mother as a sacrifice to God. Alessa Gillespie. Half her soul escaped in those flames and went on to live in a baby, in that girl of mine, of ours. Seven years passed before that half a girl returned to Silent Hill and made Alessa whole again. Newly strengthened, she vowed to kill God. God, a fetus nestled into the sacrificial girl's womb, was summoned with their usual rites. This was Alessa's wish, no matter what the outcome, even if her own existence were at stake. But that wish was not granted. My interruption meant she prayed instead for that girl's return. I alone couldn't bring her back. Dahlia did it. I only helped at the birthing ceremony to bring God out of Alessa. The newly born God wailed once and was dead. All from that girl's, and probably Alessa's, conscious resistance. That's not the end. After God had vanished in a glow of light, Alessa reappeared and gave me a baby. Looked a lot like that girl so long ago. And then Alessa was gone. Dead. There was nothing I could have done to help. I simply clutched the baby to my chest and ran off. The whole thing felt like a dream, but I had proof that it wasn't. A girl was nowhere to be found in my arms. The baby. Now 17 years have passed. It feels like only yesterday, and again it feels like a million years ago. I confess I had reservations at first about raising that baby. But I love her? Her existence is thoroughly unexplainable. I thought she could be that young woman who snatched away my beloved daughter. That led me to sadness, anger. There were times where I would put my hands around her tiny little throat. Several times I even considered abandoning her. That's what a terrible person I am. But I decided to raise her after all. I just couldn't seem to let her go. When she, when you look at me, you laugh, so. Even now, I can't forget about that girl. But I love you. I have no doubts about that. That's all I ask you to believe. My precious daughter, Harry Mason. Yeah, pretty uh, interesting stuff. A lot to take in. A lot to take in. And look at this. This is the foggiest Sent Hill has ever been. We are in the same area that we were in in Silent Hill 2. A distinct difference being that there are no items to be found. Yes, this is the only Silent Hill game where there are no items to be found in the streets. There isn't even any doghouse over here. Ah, I got hit there. Yes, you just want to run to avoid these dogs. Try to run around them. No point in fighting any of them because, like, you know, big wide open area, you can just try to avoid them. It will keep up with you though, but again, if you just keep running, then you should be fine. And run this way to see the gas station for Silent Hill 2. Do you remember how we got a pipe here? There was a car right there in Silent Hill 2. There was a book here on New Fear Game in Silent Hill 2 as well. Nothing has really changed. There's nothing too interesting to see. Whoops. You cannot go into the bowling alley. I kind of wish you could. But, you know, you just can't. It's all just so interesting. But as you can see on the map, you know, Heather circled uh, at, the, at, at the hospital right there. And unlike in Silent Hill 2, the hospital is actually marked on the map. But yeah, that's pretty interesting. In Silent Hill 2, there wasn't any uh, text for the hospital map. It was just blank there. We can enter Heaven's Night. So we can go there. It's pretty interesting. Right over here. Look at that, Heaven's Night. First aid kit and beef jerky right there. Some ammo right here. Examine this if you want. Paradise, huh? That It's 160 Paradise, all right. But it's better than that paradise that Claudia is talking about. Well, anyway, this isn't exactly where I want to hang out. And we can examine this. This is pretty interesting. The tourist pamphlet. I have forgotten about it, but it's true. Silent Hill was originally a resort town. Welcome to Silent Hill. 
Hi, hello, a quiet little lakes area resort town. We're happy to have you. Take some time out of your busy schedules and enjoy a nice restful vacation here. Row after row of quaint old houses and a, a gorgeous mountain landscape and a lake which shows different sides of its beauty with the passing of the day. From sunrise to the late afternoon to sunset. I hope it will move you and fill you with a feeling of deep peace. I hope your time here will be pleasant and your memories will last forever. Editor, Roger Woodmark. We actually uh, read that same pamphlet in Silent Hill 2. Isn't that interesting? That is very interesting. It's, it's a flyer from a club. It shows a woman with long black hair. The return of Lady Maria. That's interesting. What? Lady Maria. We met someone named Maria in Silent Hill 2. And uh, yeah, there's really nothing else in here besides that. This place looks a little more lived in than it did in Silent Hill 2. There are more beer bottles on the table. So yes, yeah, feel free to look around. Very nostalgic to be in here. When it was such a such an iconic location in Silent Hill 2. Okay. There will be pendulums around. Don't bother fighting them because again, there is a chance they will be invincible, which is always funny in my opinion. I wonder if that was an oversight, or, or, or maybe that's like intentional. That they're uh, sometimes invincible. Up there it says Brookhaven Hospital. In Silent Hill 2, there was a typo up there and it actually said Brookhaven, but that was fixed in Silent Hill 3. This is my favorite nurse variation. I like them more than the Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 1 nurses. You come in here and save. Alright, with the save point right here, that seems like a nice convenient spot to end off on. Thank you for watching.